بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائے اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کنفگر اے ڈیٹا سیٹ اسکیجولڈ ریفریش وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن مینیج ڈیٹا سیٹس وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ ڈیٹا سیٹس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو ان اے لاٹ آف ڈیٹیل اینڈ ون آف دا بیسک ریکوائرمنٹس آف اے ڈیٹا سیٹ از دا کیپیبلٹی آف گیٹنگ ریفریشڈ ود نیو ڈیٹا so the there are two methods of actually refreshing the data in the data sets once the data is updated in the data source one is the manual refresh and the other one is a scheduled refresh so in one of the previous videos we talked about the scheduled refresh associated with the power bi license so we we saw that for the power bi pro license you can refresh your data up to 8 times in 24 hours and in the other scenario where you have a premium license you can you can refresh your data up to 48 times in 24 hours so you need to keep this uh, restriction or this uh, this restriction associated with the license in your mind before you actually go and plan a scheduled refresh so now let's go to the power bi service and see how we can configure the refresh for a data source so here i am inside the power bi service and this is my data set maven market report so we have previously seen that in front of the name there are these two icons one is for the manual refresh which says refresh now and the other one is for the scheduled refresh so because this is a data set that requires a data gateway because remember the files that we actually used the data source which are part of the data source are csv files which are on a computer or on a laptop so first you need to configure a data gateway once that data gateway has been configured then you can just come here and press on this button and then the refresh process is going to start and it would take a few from a few seconds to maybe a few minutes depending upon how big the data the with the data is and how uh, the connection how is the connection the other option is the scheduled refresh so here you can go and you can set the timing for your scheduled refresh another uh, another area from which you can go and actually access this area is from the settings tab so if you go and click on the settings tab then you have an option which says configure a scheduled refresh so here this option is currently blurred out because we do not have a data gateway configured for this particular data source but i am going to take you to another report the process is going to be simple because i do not want to actually go and install a data gateway as my machine actually is configured for another uh, data gateway so i am not going to do that so i am going to take you to another uh, data set where this process has already been configured and i am going to show you how and what settings do, do you require to configure a scheduled refresh so here i have opened another report where this setting has already been configured so this is the area where we actually go and configure the scheduled refresh so you need to turn this switch to an on position and then there is this setting where which says that the refresh fre frequency so here you can go and choose any frequency that you want so currently the frequency has been set to daily then there is the time zone that you can pick whatever time zone uh, you want to pick and then in this area you can set the time so here this data set has been configured to be updated twice daily so it updates at 9 am in the morning and 6 pm in the evening and then there is this portion here which actually says that if in case there is some some issue with the refresh so there could be an issue maybe the the uh, the gateway is not on or maybe the the data source is not accessible so whatever is the reason due to which the refresh does not take place then there can be a failure notification which can be set to the sent to the data set owner and also to any contact within uh, within the organization and you can add email addresses here and once you have done that then you just need to come and you have to apply the setting so this is how you can configure a scheduled refresh inside of the power bi service for any data set so just remember this uh, process and uh, just remember that in order to do it for a data set that requires any one data source to uh, to have a data gateway 
then you first need to actually configure the data gateway and then this option will be available and then you can come here and then you can uh, configure the scheduled refresh. So that's all for this particular video and I'll catch up with you in the next one.